Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks, and we are enjoying a view from the Trump Towers of a rainstorm in a distant, distant desert. But here back in the, the ASUS suite, I'm checking out a new Fit and Light Ultrabook convertible. This is the ASUS VivaBook Flip, and this is the 13.3 inch edition. There's a lot going on with this machine in that, well, it has a yoga style hinge. 13.3 inch display as the name does imply. Uh, this version is 1366 by 768 with a TN panel, but there are options that have an IPS display uh, with full HD uh, resolution. So what we have on the, well, so just to go over it really quickly, you can put the flip into a variety of positions and this is something that I'm actually a big fan of um, with the two-in-one category. Because I, I really like, like once you own a device that has this option to kind of forget the keyboard and forget the work, this is why uh, this two-in-one form factor is really attractive. And what, what makes the flip a little more interesting is that it comes with the option of an NVIDIA GeForce 920 graphics card. So you can actually turn this into a, like a really strong productivity device. This is running sixth generation uh, Skylight processors, i3 all the way up to i7, and I believe it's four or eight gigabytes of RAM. So Windows 10 touchscreen, always a fabulous thing. Uh, let's just go in and check the system specs because that's always a good time. So this is running a Core i7 with eight gigabytes of RAM. Now what else do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the keyboard for a minute. The Asus keyboards haven't been my favorite of late. Um, there's a significant amount of flex uh, on this device. The travel on the keys actually isn't that bad. The, key, the, the keys themselves feel pretty nice, um, and I do adapt quite quickly to the style of the, of the layout of the keyboard, but there's just something about the overall durability that I haven't been that keen on, and I think uh, this generation of the Flip hasn't really moved forward. The trackpad is relatively small compared to the rest of the device. Could have come up a little bit further, but since you have the touch screen, it's just one of those things. It has a faux glass kind of finish. It's a little cool to the touch, um, which makes it feel quite nice. It has a good clickiness, a little more bounce. On there, yeah, that's, that's, actually, that's actually pretty nice. Now let's just take a walk around the system to kind of give you an idea of what's going on here. So here we've got the PSU, full-size HDMI, there's some USB 3.0s there, there's even a USB Type-C, a little super speed, so you have really nice fast data transfer speeds on there. There we have a headphone and microphone jack combined into one. Around the front we don't have much else going on. Around this side here you see we have a power button, volume rocker for when we are in tablet mode, there's a, a few status LEDs there, full-size SD card reader, and then another USB 3.0 slot here. Around the bottom, you can see that we do have access to the screws, though I doubt you'll be able to upgrade anything on this device, unfortunately. There are options for uh, 500 gigs of hard drive, up to one terabyte, and then you can also get a 128 uh, gig SSD inside as well. So, starting price of this unit is 499 and it's a, it's a metal chassis, which for 499 they may give you a cheaper panel, but you're still going to get the, oh, well, that's a little wobbly. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be knocking, knocking in the back without holding it. So you do have a really nice finish on the top of this, this device. Anyways, so that's just a little look at the Asus Vivo Book Flip. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks here at CES 2016. If you liked this video and you want to see me review this device, leave me a comment and tell me why. I'm always curious to see why you want me to review things. Yeah.